Good morning. It is day six of our trip. Currently chilling on a campsite on West Pike Lake. Clear skies, sun is out. But the wind, wind is kind of picking up. It might make for some rocky waves later on if it doesn't calm down in, in a little bit. But that should be all right. Ain't nothing we can't handle. And uh, yeah, the plan is to get all the way over to Clearwater Lake. And we're gonna spend two nights on Clearwater Lake tonight and tomorrow night. That will complete our loop. So yeah, just gonna pack up camp here, make some breakfast, eat that. And then yeah, we're off to Clearwater. Just got one portage today. I think it's like a 218 rod or be the last portrait of the trip should be a pretty easy day well let's go get the day started Tore down camp. Now we gotta pump some water and probably hit the hit the lake. New is all packed. Gonna say goodbye to the campsite over here on West Pike. Now we're going to head on over to Clearwater, that way. Straight into the wind and the waves. It's gonna be a nice rocky paddle. Too bad we don't have a sailboat, because this is perfect sailing weather. But we'll be all right. Yeah, okay. All right. So after a nice long paddle, not really a long paddle, it's just more of a rough paddle. 50 minutes. Yeah. Waves are pretty choppy, but definitely wasn't the worst waves we've ever experienced in our lives. But it was just most of the wind, the gusts here and there. It was just blowing the canoe around everywhere. But yeah, we made it all the way to the western end of West Pike. We thought our portage was over there. But it is in fact right there it's a pretty tough on the spot but here it is now we're on our way to clear water all right so did the final and last portage of our trip. We are now on to Clearwater Lake. We're going to take the next open campsite. And uh, yeah, spend two nights there. We'll just have to see what happens. Here's a little bit of some rocky waves for you. Nothing too crazy. We've been on waves. We've been on waves where we've been on water where the waves are splashing over the side of the canoe. Uh, 
All right. Well, that was a fun day. Yeah. Too bad we didn't have a sailboat. Well, here is our campsite. Not bad of a sight, eh? No. Better than one we had last night. Got a nice little stairway. Right to the canoe. So many different snakes on this trip. Probably the most snakes I've ever seen coming up here at a Boundary Water Strip. It's pretty cool, man. I like snakes. It's always refreshing, getting a nice bath. Now I'm gonna try for some fishing offshore. I just cast it once. I caught a little bass right away. So that was neat. Hopefully I get some more luck. Hopefully some bigger bass though. So we keep nailing all these small bass. Small, small mouth bass. And I'd like to get a nice fat hog. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's thunder off there. I thought I just heard it. Might get some rain tonight. We'll see what happens. I hope I didn't set up in a fucking puddle spot. <laughs> <coughs> the wind finally died down. Still got a light breeze going on, but it's not as crazy as it was before. Yeah, let's see if we see if I can't catch any more smallmouth bass.
yeah, we definitely got some weather rolling in, so I figured it was the perfect time to bust out some rain gear. First time using this rain gear. It's pretty, pretty dang good. It covers everything. Hopefully the rain doesn't last too long. What you got going on over here? Up something for us to get out of the rain in. Nice little tarp tent thing. That's a neat little deal. Figure you get a fire started before wood gets too wet. wine sure all right y'all what's up um yeah so the rain continue it's still continuing yeah luckily i'm in here i'm dry everything seems dry for the most part uh that's good hopefully the rain lets up tomorrow we can dry everything out but it's good. It's good to have the rain. It's good to it's good to see the rain up in this region of the boundary waters because it is very dry. It is a very dry uh, area. At least lately, it has been. Um, and it's good to see rain because if it's really really dry, yeah, that means just a higher chance of like wildfires. And there's a lot of wildfires that happen up here, and we got. When you got this good rain going on, it's just like, all right, preventing wildfires, keeping things hydrated, keeping the trees nourished and thriving, and all the plants, everything. It's good. To, it's good to have rain. It's good to have rain. I've come to. I used to never like rain, but I've come to really enjoy the rain. Now that being said, I hope you guys are staying awesome. Hope you guys are staying dry. And uh yeah. I'm gonna catch some Z's. I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned to the next one. Yeah, man. We only got two more days of the trip, so stick with it. If you if you if you watched up to here, you're awesome. And, uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next episode. So, peace and love. Your life is a gift. Keep on giving. Yeah, I'm living happy as can be. I don't care what they say or see. I'm going to be me, my best version, you see. I will stand my own ground where I plant my own two feet.